If God is going to be posited for an explanation for human existence, then by what mechanisms, meaning by what activities and interactions that are organized in such a way that produced humans, did God use? And by what means could we discover those mechanisms? Couple of points. I feel you're making the assumption that God is a sort of scientific claim in which we need a scientific cause for. God is a metaphysical claim, not a scientific one, as I've pointed out in my appeal to theologian Keith Ward in a previous video. Science can influence the probability of God's existence, but concluding with something on the matter is outside its realm. Also, I believe you've committed the fallacy of a single cause by assuming there is only one type of acceptable explanation, aka through scientific mechanisms, when there is a second one, aka agent causation. Outside of scientific explanations that deal in terms of laws and initial conditions, we have personal explanations in terms of an agent and its volition. Any personal agent like humans, or in this case God, would fall into the second category, in which we would not really expect a more mechanistic approach, and deduction would be more useful in establishing what God does. Deduction is more conclusive than induction, and I'd say it is useful in things like mathematic, logic, history, and theoretical physics. If you still insist on scientific explanations, I'd recommend checking out Johann Rotz, in which, he, which through an idealistic perspective, he goes through the science of how they all interact. Fredkin's Other, Hilbert Space, and Quantum Probability Waves, along with holographic interference patterns, are just some of the things he appeals to in order to show how connected the supernatural and the natural are. Lastly, I could simply just take the agnostic approach and say I don't know how God did it. I can be quite comfortable leaving it as a mystery that needs further inquiry.